I'm going to talk to you and hear my word. If you're a short, small man like I, five, two and a half, big old moon face. Moon face never score. Big belly. No muscle tissue at all, but I'm 80 years old, so I have a rationalization and an excuse. What do you have? I'm putting it right to you. There's no good Samaritan. There's no Gado. Don't wait for Gado. He's never going to show up. Don't wait for somebody else to do it for you. It'll never happen. Don't look for equity. It doesn't exist in reality. It's down on paper and that's all it's worth. Don't look for rights unless you can represent yourself and defend your rights when it counts. In social, in social situation of extremity, don't give me the excuse you got caught cold. You need to get ready. You need to get set. You need to know yourself or who the hell you are. Who am I? How do I know I can do what I'm proposing to do? Have I ever done it? Where am I vulnerable? What type of opponents am I going to face? Can I prepare for them? Can I develop power in my arms and in my body, speed and balance to offset the bigger bully who's bigger and has biomechanical advantage over on me. Do I have to genuflect? Do I have to cower? Only I can present that choice and resolve that issue. Of so there's no Tony Robin. Tony Robin can't do crap. I say, hey, Tony! Hey, boy, can you make me tall like you, Tony? Then shut the hell up, Tony. You're worthless to me, Tony. Take your advice and your scam and run it someplace else, Tony Robin. That's what I tell the man, right to his face. But, of course, you don't get to talk to the man unless you have thousands of dollars pasted on your chest and the man is a mister. He has no damn credentials. He's just a mister, same as I am. Even with his billionaire friends and all that bullshit. Now the one thing I hate is VIP bullshit. I hate the expert who says, believe me, believe me because I'm an expert. Oh, why in the hell should I believe you because you're an expert? What the hell does that mean to me? What good does that do me? Why don't you face me like a man, man to man? Forget pulling that VIP rank on me. It doesn't work. Don't get up and try to humiliate me like a Dr. Phil. He stand up at 6'4". I'll stand up too. And we'll see where we go. If he hurts me, I'll sue the hell out of him. That's what you have to do. Anytime anybody like big Dr. Phil is all bloated with it. Or O'Reilly who's bloated with their image. 6'4". Pulls that crap off. If I stand up, stand up. Stand up, you bastard. Stand up. I'll stand up too. And I'll keep on talking. If I was only in shape, if I was only strong enough, I'd break some short rib. If he stood up, I'd start my fight. And hit him right in the short rib. Bust the short rib. Hit him in the kneecap. Stomp on that kneecap. Go for the vulnerable spots. That's what I would tell anybody. But it takes power in your body and will behind it and courage that has to be earned. So you should come out there. Anything you want, you shouldn't be afraid to ask for it. That doesn't mean you have to get it, but you have to ask for what you want directly in clean, clear language that's understandable and do it quickly. Don't worry about the other man. The hell with the other man. Think about what you can do. Focus and concentrate on what you can do. If you can't do it, then you're out of luck. Then you deserve the beating you're going to take. Verbally and physically, you deserve the humiliation you're going to take from your bigger, bloated, bully opponent. That's the essence of bully. And, and if you have ever heard me talk, I come against the bully. And I know the bully. Nobody knows my bully better than I do. The bully comes in so many different forms that I can smell the stink of that bully a mile away. A mile away, I can spot my bully. I can spot him by the way he approaches me, by what he says and what he does and what he looks like when he's saying it. I can spot all that crap. Whether it's a man or a woman, you've got to be alert and pay attention. And you've got to be ready at all times to 
punch back in the now. Only you can do it. Nobody can, can intervene. Police come after the fact. Police are worthless. They come after the fact to write a report. So that leaves you and you alone as your own best, only representative of who in the hell you are and what your rights are. If you can't represent yourself, if you can't take your rights and demand your rights, then you don't have any rights. And your bully prevails. Then your bully will tell you what to do. Then your bully will hold all the cards. What do you think of that?